Heather has shown artistic ability since she was a young girl. I tried to draw horses when I was little, and I always liked horses, and then I went to dragons, I went back and forth, dinosaurs and horses and a lot of that stuff. When I watch her draw, I see her body doing the whole movements. She feels her artwork. <laughs> it feels like I can express myself through my drawings instead of, it's hard for me to tell the person verbally, so I do it in sketches to express myself the best way I know how to. This has been a developmental process for her to use her artwork. It's just she and her sketch tablet, and usually her cat. Her cats are very soothing for her. It helps me, my brain that wants to focus, focus, and the other one that's off the wall, focus on something else. Yeah, when I adopted Heather, she came from a very uh, abusive, neglected home. She was very fearful of anything in the dark, never go outside. So during these 10 years, she has just become an amazing young girl, a farm girl for sure. We have a lot of fun. Her and I have a mutual agreement on taking care of the animals. Matter of fact, she got to the point that she'd do the feeding on her own and start taking care of them without me having to have her give her any instructions at all. Being around these animals helped my art by improving the details. So I want to draw an ear, I go to one of the animals and try to see, oh, that's how the ear's supposed to look, or the eyes, the face, the features, the teeth. Developmental Pathways was already in her life when I adopted her, and they provided a lot of services at the beginning where she needed uh, special help, special programming. But now that she's in her adult years, they've come back into our life in a big way because Developmental Pathways has provided so many services and we're just stepping into some of it. So we're very excited for where we can go with the support that they have to offer.